here's the thing. Being bored happens, you know, all the time as a human being. Uh, I've been bored before. You've probably been bored before. That's probably why you're here and just wondering, you know, how can we not be bored? And, you know, it's interesting. I think even as an adult, one of the things that we think a lot about is uh, the last thing we want is a boring job. Like, we don't, I don't want to live a boring life. And, you know, as a child or as a student who is listening, you're thinking about, well, I, I'm just tired of being bored. Like, I want to do something fun. I want to make the most out of it. Or I don't want to waste time. And um, I don't want to be a cat just staring out of nowhere. Like, I got to be productive. And that's something that, you know, I, I want to share a story that, about an experience that really got me rethinking about it. And this brings me to all the way back to when I was a high school student back in 2000, um, 2000, yeah, 2002. And so back then, uh, when you do international flights, they are long and they don't have a lot of the things you do right now, such as no iPad, no smartphone, <laughs> no, um, I mean, yes, you can have books, but like, I mean, laptops, yes, you do have them, it's not as good, and so, man, as a teenager on a 14-hour flight going from um, the States to Asia, um, I w- I'm American, but I, uh, my parents at that time was living in Korea, and so I was, you know, as an underage child, I, the only way I would be able to spend time after boarding school, um, when it's like summer holidays is that I have to be back in Korea. That flight was really important. The reward is clear. I get to be back home. I get to be with my family. I get tons of amazing food, good rest, right? You're not going to have any of that by being stuck at school. Uh, And yet to get to that reward was so hard. I mean, those 14 hours. The first few years doing that was so difficult. I would be so bored out of my mind. <laughs> There's a limit to how many movies you can watch, how many books you can read, like even eating. I probably ate so much junk food back then. And it really got me thinking about, you know, is there perhaps something that I could do differently so that that 14 hour flight that I have to do anyway could have a different experience? Um, and I realized I have a choice, which you always do. We always have a choice. So if the 14 hour flight is a time that I have to spend anyway, what can I do to make that time a little feel different? And that's where the time of perception uh, later on as I grew up realized is an important aspect in how it influences the way I think about time and how I experience time. So here's the thing. Knowing that time felt like forever, the only way that I, in my teenager brain, knew that the way will be different was that I had to hack as much as possible to not get bored. And so I would literally come up with all these different things I would be able to do on the mission to not get bored during my 14-hour flight as much as possible. and that, that in itself actually became a whole fun thing. So over the years, I realized that I would now have a list of lists of things that I would have, okay, if plan A didn't work, I have plan C. Plan C didn't work, plan E, plan C. Like all the way so that I would have all these lists of things that I would keep myself occupied, get my mind um, inspired, like really energized um, so that I can get into Wonderland because I have to be in that flight for 14 hours. There's no other way right now. And the most frequent one I ended up doing was realizing that, you know, it's just really breaking down the time. And that's probably where my organization, uh, analytic part of the brain kind of kicked in. It's like, okay, 14 hour time. What can I do to strategize that differently? (laughs) And so I would say, okay, for a few hours, I'm going to always make sure I sleep once I get on the flight so that I just crash. And then I would eat. And then movie I'm sorry, guys, but back in the day for the movies, there's a set time you would watch and there's only a few movies. You don't get to choose what movie you watch. So there's no guarantee you're going to even like it or be in a seating that you can see the movie well because the big screen is in the middle of the aisle. Um, And again, no personal screen I just shared with you. Um, And even if you had a laptop, there's a limit to how many things you can download on your laptop. Um, And so I would dedicate some movie time. But then what really got me inspired was that, yes, in addition to the books, um, what I ended up doing was realizing that I was really into fan fiction at that time. 
Uh, and, you know, as a big Harry Potter fan, I would both write and read. I'm a big fan of manga, so I had some characters that I would follow and how they're imagining what their story's like. And what I loved about was that I ended up not only accomplishing my mission <laughs> of not being bored in the flight, but re thinking and really learning that lesson of okay, so if I'm in a situation that I have 14 hours, I can choose how to experience that time. I can choose what I might want to do and I can plan. I might still not know what I experience.、Uh, plan A might not work, plan C might not work, but at least I'm putting more options so then I felt less anxious. Flight time became more fun. And of course, now it goes so much faster because now you can watch mini movies, you can, you know, you can have your multiple screens. And for you right now, as you're thinking about this, I ask for you to think about your concept of time.、Um, no matter where you are right now, if you feel that, you know, I'm bored, I don't know how to deal with this long length of time, you know, take a moment to think about what would help you get into a wonderment land,、uh, a land where you just lose. Track of time because you're so into it, you're so amazed, you're,、uh, you're curious, your, your minds are bottling with creativity, you're just imagining all these things. And for me, fan fiction was one of it,、uh, as well as reading book. Because the thing is that that phrase of like something did not work out in this event <gasps> that could mean many things. And so now I'm so curious, I'm like, ooh, what did it not work out? Why did character A and B did not get along? Like, what would happen if A and C did something different? And that led me to really thinking about how powerful words are, how powerful storytelling is, and how powerful the concept of time. And as you're probably listening,、uh, I hope I've occupied a few minutes of your time as you're even listening because. The science, now what I've learned later through psychology, is that the reason why we feel that way is because when we're actually enjoying something, we feel that time is slower. But the pace of time is still the same. And because we feel time is slower, when we look back, we feel like, oh, time passed a lot faster. Isn't that interesting? And so what I started doing is that whenever I feel bored, daydreaming and finding things that make me. Feel like I can have fun, change the whole experience. And so my flight time were no longer that kind of sleepy, I don't know, stressed out time, but it was a fun project. Every flight, I would be super proud of all these new things I've tried to occupy my mind. And over the years, as I you know, grew and adventured into all these different careers and work, I really thought a lot about you know, how and what I can do to occupy my time. I had a chunk of time when I was living in Geneva, also thinking about wow, I'm so bored because I still don't know a lot of friends to talk to. This is a foreign country, I don't speak French. Um, and you know, really thinking about how to rethink about my main of pride、uh, being bored. And like I said, that intention, I realized what, what mattered planting time for being curious and planting time to dig deeper and wonder what that means and what I wanted to get out of it. And so that's, that's kind of it for today.、Uh, what I hope that it inspired you to think about. My story about my 14 hour flight and what it taught me about being bored is that, you know, being bored right now could be an opportunity because that's you in your mind wanting to do something more. So, how do you break that down to create small wins? Start something as simple as, like, let's say this week, every time you feel bored, are there two or three things that you can do that you would occupy your mind that you would just love doing? Maybe for some, that's doing cooking. For others, that is creating,、um, photoshopping, writing.、Um, I know sometimes it's watching a movie and reading books too, and that's good.、Uh, but I hope this gave you an insight into what you might be able to do to rethink.、Um, so now, what do I do when I get bored? I get excited about it actually, because it means that now I have a chunk of time where I can let my mind wander. And explore what else is out there.、Uh, and so I hope I've, kind of, I've inspired you to think in a different way about being bored and you know, tap into your mind in a different way and how you play with the perception of time. And so this is Monica Kang、uh, sharing 
uh, creative essays with you as I share my reflection on times that I'll have to reframe my mind that I hope inspires you. Uh, please subscribe and you know let me know what are other topics, stories that you would want to hear. And tell me what are things that has helped you and how you changed your perception about time, life, career, and anything else. And I'll keep sharing stories that inspires me and hope that it helped you to rethink about whether it's being bored or living our best version of who we are. So wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you for joining as well. This is Monica Kang from Innovators Box from Creativity with Monica. And I will see you soon. Thank you.